Uh, Justin, congratulations on the win. Uh, very emotional after the fight. What was sort of uh, going through your head as you got your hand raised and another impressive win uh, coming up here tonight? I'm a man of my word, man. Like I've said, and you guys follow along with me, um, I'm here to take over this division. And, you know, just coming from nothing, man, and, and be able to grow here. I put so much into this. And, man, if you see my fights from early on, I mean, I'm, I'm made for this shit, man. And it's time for me to come and reap my rewards yeah. one by one. And did that fight go exactly how you planned? You said he wasn't an elite fighter. I think you sort of proved that tonight. I'm the elite fighter. I am the uh, elite fighter in heavyweight division. Um, I have teammates that are elite. They'll tell you the same thing. Um, but now it's just coming here and prove it to the world, uh, piece by piece, step by step. And Crowder was a second step. What would you like next? Um, the guy who gets paid is the guy who gets called out. So I say this all along, man. So somebody will call, uh, will, will, will take that sacrifice, uh, that uh, the suicide mission, and to come and uh, challenge me, and uh, they'll get deca decapitated as well. I mean, you, you opened the, the prelims today. I mean, are you looking for, for a bigger slot? Do you want to be bumped up? <coughs> I'm a pay-per-view fighter. I'm a main event fighter, um, um, at least co-main event. Um, I'm that guy. You know, I bring excitement. Uh, I bring swagger. I bring everything that the UFC has been lacking in the heavyweight division. And when would you like to fight next? Uh, this is a quick win for you. You're not getting paid by the hour, so uh, obviously you want to get back in there. Um, I made a commitment to myself when I first started the sport. Um, I don't know if you guys know, the... Um, me fighting Mohan to this fight was six months. That's been my shortest turnaround because most, uh, at the beginning of my career, most guys are scared to fight me. So um, now I made a commitment every three to four months. I mean, yeah, three to four months. So once a quarter, about, I want to fight. That's the plan. Any particular card you want on next year? I don't give a fuck, man. Three to four months. <laughs> you, you weighed 265, right? Yes. Do you have to actually cut <coughs> weight? Um, not as much uh, now because now I have resources. But at the beginning of my career, uh, I came down from 298. Um, now I'm coming down from 275. Um, and this next fight, this is, this is the reason why it, um, I take a little bit of time off between each time, because I literally outwork them all. I go and my, 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 my strength and conditioning coaches, my boxing coaches, they put together a regiment and I build and I grow and I concentrate and I focus on myself and my skill development. So the next step is obviously um, the next guy, I'm, 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 I'm hoping to take steps up, man. That's it, steps up and Crowder, no offense to him, but he just wasn't on my level. It is what it is. And um, I went in there, um, <coughs> my coach was telling me to kick and shit. Fuck that. I'm going, I'm head hunting, and I'm going for the finish. Uh, because I saw it in his eyes, he did not want to fight me. How are you planning on celebrating tonight? Um, I don't drink, I don't smoke. Um, I just go, uh, go back to the drawing boards, man. See what I did wrong. Um, see how I got hit a few times. Um, and go um, plug in those little inadequacies I have. Well, we saw you drinking a Coke after the fight. Uh, what's on the post-fight cheat meal list? Oh, now that's... Yeah. That, <laughs> that's a topic we could talk about. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking about Shake Shack. I saw Shake Shack down the street. Y'all see that shit? Yeah. That shit delicious. <laughs> yeah, so I'm probably Shake Shack. And when I get home, I spend about three days of just binging. I'm on the couch like a fat bastard. And I'm just eating my ass off. So it'll probably be some Shake Shack, then Wing Stop, and then Five Guys. That's my shit. Can I ask about your relationship with Daniel Cormier? He yes. tells me about some of the uh, the verbal battles that you guys have in the gym. Yeah. How would you describe? Are you trying to start shit, Aaron? I'm not trying to start. Don't be trying to start shit, man. I just met you, man. Let me try to start I'm just, shit. Is, is, there's a fun little rivalry between you I two, mean, right? I mean, of course, man. You know, he's, he's, he's a funny guy. I'm a f I am mean, funny guy. I guess he will call me funny. Um, I'm <coughs> more serious. We're both really serious when it comes to this craft. Um, you know, it's, it's a competitive rivalry in the gym, but that's how you become great. But you, you feel like you're on his level, even though he's the champ, right? Man, oh, this guy tried to set me <laughs> is, is that not true? Um, I'm the best. Sure. So, I mean, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to point fingers. These guys are my teammates. I'll never talk down or anything about my teammates. Um, they're great. They're all great. But I'm great as well. So when you see, like, Ngannou and Overeem fighting tonight, you feel... They can kiss my fucking ass. <laughs> and they can get an X if they call me out. There you go. Yeah. Why can, don't you call I, anyone out? Because, Why do you wait? Man, what happens is, when you're calling people out, man, you're not making the money, man. So I'm the guy that people will be chasing down. Okay. You, you talked, your first answer when we asked you, you talked about sort of coming from, I think you said coming from nothing. Yes, sir. Uh, and reaping the rewards. Are, are, do you feel, you know, as a UFC fighter now that you are reaping those rewards? No, not yet, you? man. No, no, I'm not, I'm not got to the candy land yet. The candy land is when I have that belt around my waist and I defend it a few times. Then I'll, I'll start telling you, I'll start reaping my rewards. You talked about a three to four month <coughs> turnaround, but also fighters being afraid to fight you. Yeah. If that big marketable opponent doesn't like step forward, will you take a, you know a lesser known opponent to just stay active? I'll talk to my management, man, and, and you know I have a really good uh, relationship with my management. Uh, most times, guys challenge me, and I just say yes. So we'll see. I mean, I don't give a fuck, man. This is a fucking fight. I, I grew up doing this shit, man.
on the street for no money, free. So this ain't shit to me, and I get paid to have fun. This time next year, what are we saying about you? Where are you in the heavyweight division? On a championship hunt, like I am right now. Hopefully, I'm, I'm a lot closer than I am right now. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, I'm be starting shit. Alright guys, thank you. Thank you guys.